Hi everyone and welcome back to some more MotoGP19 here on this channel. This is part number 30 of my career walkthrough. And in today's episode we've got a special episode because it's my home GP and we go to Silverstone. Really looking forward to this one and I'm praying for some dry weather because we haven't had a lot of that recently in our episodes. So let's get straight into this one and hope for the best. Here we are, back at the track, waiting for the second qualifying session to start. 18 riders classified, but only one will start from pole position in tomorrow's race. Just shut up, Guna. Every time you say something about the weather, look what happens. But this is Britain. We always get wet weather. Anyway, let's get into the qualifying session. All right, let's keep it nice and tight into this turn. Right behind Bulliger. Let's see how far we are away from the fastest time. And, oh, so we're up to fifth. So that's not too bad. So we're about second off the pace. Let's see if we can go a little bit quicker on this second lap. But these conditions are absolutely ridiculous. There's going to be so many accidents in today's race. Hopefully, I'm not going to be one of those casualties. Let's just try and take a little bit more through there. But, uh, yeah, this is Silverstone to a T. Pissing rain. Now, I actually went to Silverstone on a track day. And I'll tell you what, um, it rained in the morning. But by the afternoon, it was absolutely bone dry. This circuit really does... Um, dry up very very quickly but is that going to happen for our race today I have got no idea so we've had rain for all the practice sessions and now we've got rain for the bloody qualifying oh my god how deep we've got into that turn just trying not to slide off and, uh, yeah I haven't bothered with any setups for this I mean the default setup in the rain is just it's the only really one you, to go with there's no point adjusting too much especially if uh, the conditions change onto the kerb and oh we're point two up but uh, we've still got a long way to go in this qualifying session we're going to find out how quick the ai are going to be in these conditions on the hardest level now i haven't had many races in these conditions we've had wet a wet circuit but when it's raining it's so much harder and keep it tight around the loop Challenging corners, and we're still up point three. But can we now the last sector? We weren't that quick round the last sector on the last lap. Let's see if we can do it this time. Let's slow it down. Try to be good on the brakes. Just try and coast it round this last turn, and just stopping it. Got a little bit wider than I would like, but trying to get that front end turned in. Right to the last corner. This is going to be a better lap, but how much better? Right around the turn and across the line. And we've gone into first place. Not sure whether that's going to be quick enough to take pole position, but uh, let's get into the uh, session and see. That's the end of the second and last qualifying session, and we can finally see the grid positions that await us in tomorrow's Grand Prix. I'm actually a little surprised. I thought they would be a little bit quicker, but those conditions were awful when there was a lot of accidents in that session. Anyway, let's get into the race, and it's our home GP. I'm really looking forward to this one. We're joining you live from Silverstone. Everything here is ready now for what should be another thrilling Moto2 race. As you can see from the footage, the skies are clear at the moment, but there is still a thick layer of water on the track that will give the riders a very hard time. The riders are on the Silverstone starting grid and are ready to face one of the most demanding Grand Prix of the whole year. And it is a very challenging circuit. Right, let's see if we can get a good start. This is our home Grand Prix around Silverstone. Let's see if we can keep the home crowd happy and get a good start. And it's all go. Let's just try and change the gears a little bit quicker. Short shift. And we've managed to get away without spinning up the rear too much into that first corner. Just try and hold it. That was not a bad start. But the rear is spinning up quite a bit. Nothing's first. A couple of laps are going to be tricky, so we're going to have to be really careful. Not feeling much grip there. Be careful. Bloody hell. And there goes Marquez. And Lutis managed to sneak up the inside as well. And we've dropped two positions. And we've gone really wide into that turn. And Navarro's managed to get past. Not the greatest start that we wanted, but we've just got to stick with them 
until we feel a little bit more comfortable and then we can start settling, settling into a decent rhythm. Right, slow it down. And oh, we've left the break in a little bit later. We've gone really deep into the corner. He's done that a couple of times, but it's important just not to come off. That is, oh God, just a little bit of contact there with Navarro. Right, let's just try and hold the inside. And oh, bloody hell, Schrotter, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I hate the way the AI dive bomb on this game. He almost had me off there, trying to hold it to the inside behind Marquez. And Luti has taken the lead, but we've managed to get in back into P2. And let's see if we can get in the inside of Luti here. Can we dive up the inside? Right onto the curb. Be careful, we don't want to come off here on the first lap. And we're managing just to hold our own at the moment. Right, slow it down. How good, and again, they just dive up the inside and he's taking that position back. Let's just try and hold it. This is a very difficult, the loop is one of the hardest sections, especially in the wet. So let's just try and keep it steady. And that is not too bad. And we should be able to get past Luti. And Marquez is not far behind. He was uh, better than me in the wet last time we had a wet race. I think was it was in, in Bruno, the Czech Republic really outdone me there so I was expecting him to be quick around here as well on the wets let's just keep it steady slowly open the throttle and that is not too bad and we go into lap two and we are leading our home GP pleasing the home crowd at the moment but there's still a long way to go let's see if we can just push get a faster lap here have a little bit more heat in the tyres now and the good thing about the wets they don't wear down as quick so that is one good thing about having a wet race let's keep it a little bit more control through here when you start spinning up that rear it's so hard just to get it out to grip and you do lose a lot of time in the corners as well so you've got to be really good right let's see if we can get a little bit tighter in this time really deep into the corner and let's start slowing it down early and again we've just overdone it but that wasn't as bad as the first lap let's give them the others a chance to catch up slow it down and again oh my god that is a really big mistake oh just struggling here and Marquez is retaking the lead so there you go one mistake back in front let's see if we can just get past him again I don't want to give him a chance to run away with it because that's what happened in the Czech Republic I just could not catch him back up once he got ahead let's see if we can just hold him off slow it down get turned in be good on the brakes and again same for this corner don't you dare shove it up the inside no, he didn't. He's being clever. And again, that wasn't too bad around that turn. And we've just managed to pull away, so we've got a gap of just over a second. We can just hold that. Let's get turned in. And we've got another good circuit after this one. We've got uh, San Marino GP, another one that I like, but can be very challenging in the wet. So let's see if. They, we actually get a dry race around there. It's just that it's so frustrating. We've had so much rain in our career. It's ridiculous. I might as well just get just, just racing the rain for the whole season. We might as well get used to it. So we just set, oh, a 218. So that is definitely quicker than our qualifying, which was in rain. This is just in the wet. So the times are going to be a little bit quicker. Let's see if we can just carry a little bit more speed from here. Tight. Trying to spin up that rear too much. And we've just managed to pull away a little bit more, so it's a point one second point four. So if we can just keep on extending that, that would be awesome. I was actually expecting, like I said at the end of the qualifying, the AI to be a lot quicker in the wet on 120% AI at level. I mean we didn't have many Wet, wet races in the uh, Moto3 so you're never too sure just keeping it steady through 
there. Just try and get it turned in again. And start off the curbs. Oh god, you don't want to be going on the curbs and the wets. And they've just closed the gap a little bit. So it's still just over a second. Let's just try and keep this up. We still need to upgrade the engine in the frame. We've still got um, another upgrade on both. So we'll try and I think the way it works out, I'm probably only going to be able to upgrade one of them before the end of the season. I'm not too fast with all the um, development points. I think it gives them, a, you know, it gives me a little bit more of a um, challenge not having the most powerful bike. It's not too bad through that. And it's still just over a second, so we're not really pulling away. I think if we make a mistake, they'll be back on us again. Again, just trying to keep it nice and tight through there. Final turn. Just gently open the throttle. And this is definitely a faster lap. Let's keep it nice and tight around here. We'll be careful, just cut the curve a little bit. And the centre's a little bit wider, so we've just done a 216. Right, slow it down. Oh, God dear. See what happens as soon as you touch the curbs. And we've gone really wide. God dear, we got away with that one. Just managed to stay on the bike. The was going to slide off then. And they have closed the gap. But we just set a, a 2.16. So let's see if anyone else matches that time. As the times will get quicker as the race goes on. Marquez has closed the gap slightly, so it's only 0.7. But he's got uh, a gap between him and third, so really got one rider that's sort of living with our pace at the moment. Let's keep it steady. And that was much better that time around that turn, but uh, Marquez is, looks like he's up to his pace a little bit. So let's see if we can just get through here. Oh, that's not too bad. Just try not to spin it up that rear. Don't slide off here. Lap four. We've only got one more lap to go after this. We're going to take a victory around Silverstone in front of the home crowd, which is always good. We're not far off getting onto the GP bikes. It's not too bad. Slow it down. Just need to do this for one more lap. I am starting to look forward to going onto GP bikes, so I was try trying to think what sort of team we're going to get offered. I mean, I've seen some teams that have been offered to other people that do obviously do this on YouTube. And yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm going to get Honda. I've, I wouldn't mind Honda. I mean, I think my preference would be Yamaha, but if we get Honda, that would be absolutely insane. I don't want Ducati. I've had a go on a Ducati on this game, and I'm not really into going with that bike but if we get it we're just going to have to go with it I'm not sure how many offers and how many teams we're going to get offered right go into the final lap of the race and that was a 2.16 that wasn't faster than oh so Luca Marini has put in a 2.16.4 so we haven't got the fastest lap let's see if we can go a little bit quick on this lap Still loads of grip on these tyres. Just try to carry as much through there. Should be okay as long as we don't make a mistake. And this has been a really good effort, I think. After that uh, race in the Czech Republic around the Bruno circuit where we just didn't have anything in the wet. We just, I was just so off the pace. This hasn't been too bad. spin up there. Oh, come on, be good in these slow corners. And I can't even see them on the track map now. We're starting to really pull away. This has been a good last lap so far. And I'll say that and then I'll spin out off on the one of the last corners. Right, just trying to carry this much speed through there. And it's actually Marini that's actually in second place. Where the hell has Marquez gone? is a surprise. Where's Lutis? Where's Schrotter? 
They're the closest to me in the championship. And just carried a little bit too much in there. Should be okay. And again, we've done really well around that turn. And just spinning up the rear as again. again. Come on. We haven't got far to go now. I'm still managing to maintain that gap. Almost four seconds now. And this has definitely been a faster lap. Oh, again, it's still get those little glitches now and again. Sometimes it's when someone crashes or something like that, but uh, it's really off-putting sometimes, especially when you're on a really sharp bend. And there we go. We're going to take a win around the Silverstone circuit, our home GP. Fantastic support performance again in the wet so there we go and that was a much faster lap as well let's have a look oh 214.5 that was almost two seconds quicker than anyone else that is a surprise so marini comes second and marquez third right let's get into the standings so here we go Right, so we're still top on 276 points, 131 ahead of Luti with Schrotter in third. So Marquez is in fourth. Uh, so we're doing really well. We're miles ahead. Uh, team championship points. We're 93 in the lead. It's all going really well. And it looks like we're going to take the championship on the Moto2. But we have got quite a few races uh, left. I'm going to try my best to get some more episodes out. It's been really tough for me. Uh, I've been so busy over this summer break. And I've got, I'm going on holiday soon as well. So it's going to get even tougher. But I'm going to try my best to try and leave loads of episodes for you to enjoy. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.